Maybe he's even my soulmate. Ah! I said, ah! I said, I said, I was your soulmate. All right, welcome back, guys. That clip was so crazy sitting here watching it with you. We're back with Sean Flynn, a.k.a. Chase Matthews from Zoe 101. Keep it to your adolescence, people. This, <laughs> this video, that, this clip that we just watched was incredible. And I feel like it is so dynamic towards all of our childhoods. I felt a burning inside. Now, first of all, while we were watching that video, we pointed out many things. A, there was, there was some makeup going on. Are yes. we correct? Yes, yes. What yeah. type did you use, if you don't mind me <laughs> dipping in this? Well, I mean, it's, it's not my secret. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's the makeup artists on set. You know, I, I just, uh, I go into the chair and, you know, they make my hair look good and they make my face look good. And, I don't really ask what they put on my face. I just ask when I can take it off. <laughs> no, speaking of that, your hair was long. It was, it was. When was, it was. This, what timeline are we looking at? When was this film? Okay, so I filmed this program, I mean, uh, this about a month ago, or maybe a month and a half ago. And um, after I filmed it, I um, was pretty much over the hair. I had been growing it out so that I could do something like that. And it's... Um, it's a bit of a burden, if you can imagine. I mean, I don't know if you, you saw it just a what few seconds ago. What kind of product did you use leading up to it? Uh, <laughs> I was curious. Yeah, no, no, well, that's the thing is with my hair, I use no product at all. So it truly oh, no. is just a crazy, bushy thing. So, Chase yeah. Tips. yeah. Yeah, 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 just grow it out and let it do its own thing. That's my, my recommendation to you all. No product, there. people. Now, do you have any hints of what we can expect for the future of that clip? The okay. future of Chase and Zoe? Because what a tease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's kind of what they had in mind there was to tease you all. So, I mean, I, I have no idea. I can't speak for, you know, uh, Nickelodeon or Dan Schneider, the creator over there, and what his intentions are. Um, I would like to think that, that I will continue chasing Zoe until we, um, <laughs> you know, finally meet up and we get did together. Not. Yeah, I went, I went for it. I, I had to go for I it. I love it um, so much. So, so yeah, good. you know, stay tuned, guys. You never know, but I, I don't know is the short answer to that question. Wow. I, I <laughs> Thank you for doing that. First of all, I love puns. <laughs> now, I think this needs to be said. Zoe 101 um, ended abruptly, painfully, and in a way that really affected millions. And I'm not just saying I felt that cheated. as a joke. I felt cheated. Not gonna what, lie. What, how did <laughs> Zoe, I shouldn't say Zoe, but how did Jamie Lynn present this to you guys? Well, uh, she didn't, first of all. <laughs> I mean, it's not. Okay. Also, I, also, I, um, you know, just to clarify, I wasn't really there for very much of the last season. I had already kind of made my own decision to sort of step back from that situation and focus more on my education, um, which turned out to be a mistake, but that's a different story. <laughs> um, not that education is bad. Keep going to school, guys. Right on, Trojans. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, she didn't tell us this. I didn't even find out until uh, pretty later on. Um, basically, I found out, oh, we're not renegotiating the contract because at the end of the fourth season of Zoe 101, we were technically supposed to stop anyway and then maybe renegotiate a new four-year contract. That just never happened. And then uh, finally, after you know a few weeks, we found out, oh, what well, do you know, Jamie's having a kid. So maybe that Ooh. has a little something to do with it. Although, like I was saying before, I had already kind of stepped back away from it. So I don't know where I would have been involved anyway. I mean, I'm sure they would have brought you back, though. Like, you they did. Chased. They did for the end, yeah. And we had a little kiss, and it was fun. But, but uh, as you can see, yeah, there's, there's still more to be, uh, you know, I mean, I would <laughs> say done, that's yeah. some shoddy closure because, like, we wanted the whole family scenario. We wanted you guys to be, like, the <laughs> couple. Yeah. I even wanted to see potentially Zoe get pregnant. I know that that's not appropriate for a Nickelodeon oh, show. They could have worked it in. But, MTV I mean, could have bought it. These okay. days, you know, you never know. The stork could have brought it, and Chase would have been at someone's daddy. Well, and then that is like the OG 16 and pregnant. That is exactly yeah. what that is. Um, yeah, well, you know, what could have been, here we are. It's okay. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie at least has yeah. a kid and she's so happy. So let's peep it to what you've been doing since then. What have you been up to? Um, oh, just hanging out. <laughs> no, no. Um, look, for, for a while after I filmed that show, I was very much into music. I um, am still passionate about music. I play guitar and I sing. Um, it's something that I love to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to school right now, actually. Here we are at USC. I'm, I'm actually studying math at Valley College right now. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, Education's important, though. It is good. It is good. And Same school. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm acting as well. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much doing it all, so. No, I would love to see you on a Broadway show. Oh, my gosh. I did a play a yes. few months ago. It was, it was pretty fun. I really fun. think, yeah. I feel like people are sleeping right now. They're not noticing that literally 
you could be on a Broadway show. There's great theater out there. I mean, I just saw Beauty and the Beast, the musical, the Pantages. That was really fun. Yeah. Uh, Carrie, the musical, was really, really fun. I don't know if you guys have even heard of that. No. That's really cool, too. Uh, there's, there's a lot of great stuff to see and a lot of great stuff to be a part of. Um, yeah. Yeah. So what do you want to do with your acting career? Like more movies or like we were mentioning Broadway or are you just open or maybe Friday? another TV show well look t TV was a lot of fun I'm a little biased because that's that's what I'm used to that's what I did at, for a few years and I really enjoyed myself so I would definitely not say no to having an opportunity to be on another TV show or be a part of something like that um, but look ultimately I, I I see myself going all sorts of places I don't want to limit myself to saying oh I just want to do TV or oh I just want to do film Ultimately, you know, acting, the beauty of it is that it's so versatile and that, you know, there's so much that you can do with it and there's so many opportunities to, to dive in and play, whether it's theater or whether it's that, you know. So I'm, I'm open to whatever, you know, comes my way as long as I resonate with the material. And